So if you wish to access the ball over here, there is a ball storage. So you can actually open it and inside is the ball and you can just tilt it and uh, take it out. And uh, the main rules for the maze is that um, you cannot you cannot land on these areas. And every time you do, you have to go back to the start, which is this area. And the objective is to get it into this hole. So if it, um, uh, if it does touch the, uh, the open studs, but it barely grazes it or it just goes uh, more or less around it, that's fine. But if it does get stuck or it's clearly uh, gone into the studs, then um, that's considered out. So we can place the ball on the starting plate. And now to control it, uh, to move uh, side, uh, to tilt it up and down, I can uh, just um, move it with, I can move these two gears on the side up and down, or I could use this, but um, this one's actually easier. And to tilt it side to side, what I can do is I can turn the gears. So moving it right, turns it right, and putting it to the left, turns it left. So now I can start and I can try to solve it. Uh, so again, you cannot land it in the studs, otherwise uh, it is considered out. So now I have to carefully move it. And now I can push it in. And now the ball has come out at the, at the ending point at the bottom. And um, actually that did look a bit easy, but this is actually harder than it looks. So uh, I can try again. Uh, yeah, and as you can see, I've landed inside the black stud area. So I have to restart. And yeah, so uh, I, I sort of got lucky on the first try. It's actually really hard. Uh, and it usually takes around three tries to get. And there you go, I've gotten it again. And uh, one of the main features of this maze is that um, the mazes are actually um, interchangeable. So uh, all I have to do to take it out is to push it from the bottom. And as you can see, this comes free. And now I do, I have made another one uh, and I can just uh, place it back on. It snaps into place. And now, as you can see, I have a new one. Uh, this one might be a bit harder to see, but this is a starting point and then there's studs here, here, um, all through here and over there in the uh, bottom. So I can try it again. And this one is um, actually uh, looks simple, but it's actually um, just as hard, if not uh, tougher. Um, and uh, if you make one wrong move, as you can see, I missed it and now I have to restart. Uh, but if you do manage to get the hang of this, and again, I land it. If you do manage to get the hang, the hang of this, um, you can actually do it pretty fast. Um, but it does take quite a couple of tries to get, which I've just done. So now I can take it out. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention about uh, this, this particular maze is that there is actually a second way to solve it. Uh, and that's by taking this route, but the thing is, um, it is a bit harder because you have to gain a lot of speed. So it can be done faster, but it takes um, a lot more practice to do. Um, because um, there is a stud right there, so uh, if you don't go fast enough, um, the, the it, will, it will not be able to scale the slope and it will instead uh, touch that, which is uh, considered out. So again like this that I can try and um, get it to go like this so, so the idea that I got uh, for this is, was a, is actually a real Lego set that uh, retired some time back um, and right now um, it's very expensive uh, so the actual maze the the one that Lego released uh, that was actually an idea from somebody else and um, the way that that person made it um, was much bigger and uh, at the same time the gears were all level so you could turn this and it would turn the entire thing and um, this one would, would stay in this place so um, the gears would not move up and down they would actually stay in place but the mechanism for that is um, 
really complicated in comparison to this and it takes up a lot more pieces so i decided to go uh, with this idea and um it's a mainly very straightforward so um the uh, there is an outer frame so the outer frame moves both the outer frame and the inner frame so uh, when i tilt it like this i am moving both but the this um the gear the axle that is connected to uh, actually does not connect to this outer frame instead it only connects to the inner frame so that's why um both both will move when you tilt it this way but when you turn the gears it only moves the inside layer and um, at the end i've uh, created the ball collecting mechanism that's very simple it, ju it just um, collects it right there uh, and uh, it falls in inside that and then it goes down the slope and um, comes out right here and um, the maze actually only um, just uh, er, the maze only actually goes inside this area and how i built it was that i put the flat apart and then i extended it one layer but it's one step in so that um the outer part rests inside uh, i mean directly on top of this and then this one that's raised or lowered i guess um uh, helps uh, helps to keep it in place instead of uh, uh slide sliding around uh, all over the place so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please like and subscribe and check out uh, my other videos on my channel thanks for watching